I think of this world of exponential change, we really have to step back and rethink dramatically what education is about. If you think about it, from my point of view, education can be looked at as at least um, three things we expect. There's knowledge, there's skills, and there's dispositions. Knowledge today, I pull from the internet so rapidly that now I think of, for example, my cell phone uh, as basically being a curiosity amplifier. Wherever I am, I suddenly encounter something I don't quite know about, and I can pull the information from the net uh, at the moment of need, which means now I know why I'm pulling it, now I know how to use it, now I know if it doesn't work, why, and that generates more curiosity to pull more knowledge. Okay? So there's a new way to get knowledge today that we don't need to use a push technique in classrooms, we can use a pull technique in action-based learning. But there's something called skills. Skills you don't pull from the internet quite so easily. Skills you pick up with mentoring. And so now you look at where are the various forms of mentoring. Now you can get certain types of mentoring in terms of studio-based learning in schools. Um, you also get mentoring in the broader ecosystem all around us. So you think about how do you kind of find the right network of mentors in order to help develop those skills. But perhaps, perhaps the most important thing is dispositions. How do you develop a disposition that says, I can embrace change? A disposition that says, oh, learning can be an adventure. Oh, if I don't know something, let's immediately look it up, and so on. Um, I feel comfortable with not knowing. I feel comfortable with the adventure of seeing change as an opportunity to say, oh, there's something new. It's like playing the right kinds of video games. I expect new things, new challenges, new quests to happen all the time. Now, dispositions can't be taught, but dispositions get cultivated.